I'm going to do a couple of videos on gas leaks. I've had a lot of requests for it, how to look for gas leaks, uh, how to do it safely. The first one I'm going to go into is, so let's say a customer calls you and says, I've got this terrible gas leak, I've got this gas smell all over the house, uh, can you come out here and fix it? Okay, that's really not your job. That's an emergency services situation. So you tell them, call 911, get the fire department out there, maybe the gas supplier, get them out there to take a look at it, tell them not to, to leave the house, don't, I wouldn't even close the doors, certainly don't shut off any lights, don't pick up that nylon jacket off the couch, which will make a spark, just get out from the house. Okay, later on, they may call you back and say, well, uh, they came out here and they said, yeah, there's a gas leak. Uh, they shut the gas off and uh, I want you to find it. So at that point, you're going to go out and you're going to see if you can find this leak. You're probably your best approach to this is to pressure test the entire piping system. You could just turn on the gas and then go look for the leak, but if it's a very big leak, you could have a great, great big kaboom. So you want to be really careful here. So you're going to isolate all the appliances uh, in the home, uh, disconnect the gas out of the meter, and put a gauge on it and put pressure on it. So let's look at what we're doing to the uh, indoor units to isolate them. Now here's an appliance that I've gone to and I've taken the flex line off. If it's a union, you can do take the union off and I've put a cap over the line. Now I've shut the manual valve off too because there's a gas cock on all these things. But the gas cock is not enough. It may leak by. I need to isolate this piping from the gas valve that's the gas valve right there and any other parts of this it's hooked up to because if I get my pressure the pressure I'm going to put on these lines to this gas valve it'll damage the gas valve so has to be isolated capped off and then uh, the valve shut off also uh, sometimes if the valve is not right close here I will not shut the valve off because I want to check that piping too. Just depends on how it's piped. Uh, but every appliance gets this done to it. Then I'm going to go to the meter. Everything's disconnected inside. Now I'm going to put air pressure on the piping. Now you may ask why, why I didn't just go ahead <clears throat> they probably turned the gas off at the meter. Why I didn't just go ahead and uh, turn it on and start leak checking. I don't know how big this leak is. I don't want to get in there and end up burning up the house or blowing myself up. So because they've said there's a large gas leak, I'm going to go ahead and be as careful as I can. So I'm going to pressure test this line. Okay, now I'm going to shut this thing off. This is a half turn valve here. It's on the outlet of the meter because here's my piping going into the house. Okay, some of these meters do not have this valve. They only have a valve on the inlet. And it's a quarter turn valve. Let me see if I can show you that valve. It's right there in the weeds. Uh, and it's a quarter turn valve. The other one's a half turn valve. Uh, if you have to shut off that inlet, legally you're not supposed to turn it back on. Uh, and this whole thing may be mute because if the fire department came out there or the serving gas supplier came out there, they probably shut the meter off and locked it. So this may not mean anything, but if you're looking for a leak, you can shut that one off, legally not supposed to turn it back on. That one 
is a half turn. I'll show you how it's turned off. Okay, so the two rings come together. Now I can break this union and I can put my gauge on. Okay, you can see here I put my gauge on. These are usually a 30 pound gauge. Uh, and I can put air pressure, I can put nitrogen, I can put CO2 in it to test it. Usually we tend to test about 10 pounds. Uh, the International Fuel Gas Code says you can test with as low as three pounds, depending on the size of the system. But we're looking for a leak here. So I'm probably gonna knock this up. I'll probably knock it up about five pounds to start with. Remember an older system like this that's had, it's been in for quite a while. Oftentimes you'll find a whole bunch of leaks in it when you start putting high pressure on it. So uh, once you start, you may have to do some, uh, some extra repairs. Okay, the only way to leak check this is with soap bubbles because the gas you're putting in there won't be de detectable by an electronic gas leak detector. So you're gonna use soap bubbles. Now, I will pressure it up, say to that five pounds, I can put it to 10, you know, there's no reason I can't. I can put it to 10 if I want, and then start looking for leaks, and then come back and take a look and see if it's leaked out at all. See if the pressure's gone down. Uh, sometimes you have to wait a half an hour before it comes down, but that gives you plenty of time to go over a lot of fittings and stuff. I'll go over how you should uh, leak check the fittings here next. So with pressure on the piping, I'm gonna go to each one of those fittings and I'm gonna soap test those fittings. That just means I'm gonna take a soap solution and there are solutions made just for that. I'll show you one here in a little bit. And you're gonna go all around those joints, each and every joint until you find a leak. Now remember, this is a big leak in the system, and so it shouldn't be all that tough to find, but sometimes it can be a bear. Okay, just as a demonstration, because it's easier to hook up here, I'm gonna spray around this thing with the soap solution. Now I wanna get it all the way around to use my finger to run it around there, and I'm looking for soap bubbles. That's really all it is. Uh, if this keeps going and you can't find the leak, you might start doing stuff like this. Because if there's a sand casting hole, these are cast in sand, and sometimes there's a hole all the way through the pipe. And sometimes they'll leak like in the backside of the pipe. But just go all around the fittings uh, looking for that leak. Okay, that there, that's a leak detecting solution. That's what I like to use. It works better than just pure soap bubbles. So uh, use something like that. If you find your leak, then you're gonna go ahead and hook everything back up. Uh, turn on your gas, leak check everything that you broke loose and continue looking for your leak in other places. And I'll get to that one in the next video.